Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa, and welcome to part two of painting with chakra colors. And yesterday's video, I did give a description about what a chakra is, and I am going to link that video right here. Um, and I'm also going to give uh, links to, you know, so you could find out about what chakras are and uh, probably each individual one as well. But today, we're going to do chakra number two, which is called the sacral chakra. Sh uh, excuse me. <laughs> Sh sacral chakra. Okay? Can't speak today. And I'm going to go over what each of these chakras are called first and what colors they represent. So we have the root chakra, which we did yesterday. Here's the sacral chakra, which is associated with orange. We have the solar plexus chakra, which is associated with yellow. The heart chakra, which is green. The throat chakra, which is blue. The third eye chakra, which is indigo. And the crown chakra, which is violet, okay? And today we are going to give the sacral chakra, the orange one, this beautiful orange stone, okay, its little moment, okay? And I'm going to give you a quick description of what is the sacral chakra and what it does. So the sacral chakra is responsible for movement, flow, and pleasure. If your life lacks these things, it may be that your sacral chakra is blocked. The chakras represent power centers of our bodies and are vertically aligned from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. So that's a little description about uh, what the sacral chakra is and what chakras are in general. Okay, it's about movement and flow and pleasure. And that's actually perfect for what type of paintings I'm doing. Uh, the fluid art is about, all about flow. It's about movement. And honestly, it's very pleasurable. And again, I'm trying to go deeper into the therapeutic aspects of um, painting and my art. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I just also wanted to give another quick shout out. I'm probably going to give her a shout out for every single painting uh, because she's awesome. Uh, Christine Domino, who I did buy. I did buy other uh, stones from her, but I bought this carnelian um, from her amongst other um, stones. And I just want to give her another little shout out. Um, she has a beauty. She's really I just want to say she is incredibly knowledgeable about crystals. And if you're into that, I mean, she has a lot more uh, stuff on her Etsy store. She has probably hundreds, if not thousands, of things there. And she is incredibly um, knowledgeable. And she, she actually gives you information when you buy stuff from her about how to use it. Um, each crystal or stone and what to do with it and what it means. Um, so her website is chrysaliscris.etsy.com. Okay. Shout out, Christine. Hey. So, but yes, so today we're going to um, dive deep into the color of orange. Okay. And I can't wait. It's very exciting. And I am so happy um, to be doing this again. And um, so listen, next up is I'm going to give you a little quick um, scenario of what materials we're going to be using, all right? So stick around for part two, and I'm going to show you all the materials. And I will link all the materials in the description, and I am going to uh, find and put links to um, about, you know, what chakras are, how they could help your life, and about the colors and all that, okay? So stick around, and I will see you in a minute. Hey guys, so I am back. So this is uh, the second part of the video about the materials we are using today. 
Uh, I mixed all my paints already, and they're over at uh, my other table. All right, so the pouring medium we are using today is a Flood. Um, well, it's name brand. It's called Floatrol. And I have quite a few videos, um, you know, explaining what a Floatrol is. Uh, maybe I'll link it, I'll link it here. Um, it's just, you know, a pouring medium to make your paint more fluid so you can, um, you know, you could pour it on your canvas easily. Okay. And we are using, because today we are going to do a swipe technique with chameleon cells. All right. And you will see, and actually I have done a couple of videos um, about chameleon cells, or I did a couple of paintings already on here with chameleon cells. So I am using this. Hold on. Let me get it. And again, it's a filthy bottle. Uh, this is the spot on uh, treadmill lubricant and it's 100% um, silicone. All right. And I'm going to be dipping the little toothpicks onto the painting after I swipe the paint to make beautiful cells. Um, and then I'm going to again use a 6x6, six six, uh, the canvas board, and that worked pretty well. They're pretty sturdy, so I'm not too afraid of warping. This is Artist Loft um, Ready Mix Paint in Metallic White. So I am going to uh, do like a thin coat on the canvas board with that first. And I thought it would go nice with the orange instead of black. I didn't want it to be that kind of Halloween feeling. I didn't want that. So I use a pretty metallic white. And I am going to be using the Artist Loft uh, Ready Mix Pouring Paint in orange. Then I'm going to be using Arteza uh, color in Mars orange. This is a little darker orange. I didn't want to get muddied. So I'm going to be using the Pearl X pigment again today in Pearl White. Then next up is Orange Red in the Arteza. Okay, and then last is um, a color called Papaya Orange in the Arteza. And it's actually, I'm sorry, it is Pearl uh, Papaya Orange. It has, it's mica, it has, um, it's metallics. It's their beautiful metallics. So those are the paints I'm going to be using. Those are the colors, and each of these colors has the Floatrol pouring medium in it. And um, I'm not going to put any silicone in the actual cups. And there's no water either. I'm going to be using the silicone after I swipe it. And you'll see how I do that. Okay, so these are the materials. And let's get started with the pour. Say, I'll see you soon. Hi. All right. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in a minute. Okay.
Hey guys, I'm back. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I let the painting sit for about 15 minutes because uh, when you do add the silicone, it breaks apart the paint and it does some wonderful things to it. So sometimes you just leave it alone and it kind of does its own thing for a while. And I had noticed up here that the paint was having issues like attaching to the canvas but quite frankly I kind of like that so I actually like the way this came out um, you see like the Mars um, orange here it's a little darker spots there's a beautiful metallic white going on so I actually I'm gonna say I actually enjoy this at first I was like oh no it's not coming out right but you know what I kinda <sighs> let it go and let whatever happened happen and that's really the purpose of um, this painting so um, and these series of paintings so honestly the therapeutic part is helping because I was getting a little uh, <laughs> tight as they say because the paint wasn't working here for me but then I'm like you know what no just go with it so I did so I hope you enjoyed uh, the second part of uh, part two of the painting with chakra colors. And this is the sacral chakra today. This is what we've uh, come up with. And it looks, we, they talked about desire and all that. And um, I see like flames and I just love it. So I hope you love it too. If you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and um, I just want to say if you're new here I am so happy uh, that you've watched today and you've joined me I really am and if you've been here for a little while like I have I really appreciate you coming back and watching my videos all the time I really do so I will see you guys tomorrow and or the next day because in my other video I may not be able to have time this week, weekend. I have a couple of things planned, but I will see you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.